All right, guys, and we are here, out here again on, yes, another beautiful day here in Wisconsin. All of a sudden, it's nice here, so <laughs> there must be something wrong all of a sudden. Having said that, guys, today we're going to be talking about do not, do not, do not only replace testosterone, but also HGH. So... What the problem in America, at least for right now, in terms of testosterone replacement, TRT, HRT clinics, most clinics you go to, TRT clinics, HRT clinics, whatever, most clinics, and also doctors, by the way, but, but most clinics will replace your testosterone level, although a lot will not uh, get go high enough where you actually should be in the range. But most clinics will replace your testosterone, but very, very few, maybe like five to 10% of clinics actually replace your HGH levels, okay? So testosterone replacement, you know, 10 years ago, uh, and I'm in the Midwest, the Midwest is in the Stone Age, everybody knows that. Um, the leaders in hormone replacement are what? California, Nevada, and Florida. Texas is getting up there too now. But basically what you guys need to know is that, you know, if you're doing testosterone replacement through my clinic, a different clinic, whatever TRT, HRT clinic, do not only replace testosterone, also replace HGH levels. This can be done with HGH peptides, such as Samorolin, uh, Ipamorelin, uh, CJC1295, DAC, okay? Um, and, and by the way, guys, just a note, any CJC1295 you get in the US is automatically gonna be the DAC version, okay? All right, so anyways, having said all of that, why do I bring this up now? Because I talk to, you know, I have all these people writing me in or talking to me in person. Oh yeah, I'm on TRT or I'm doing this or I'm doing that or my, my doctor's giving me this. Um, here's the issue, guys. Here's the plain, simple, honest issue. Please listen to what I'm saying, okay? So you can tell other people this. The big problem with TRT currently in America, if you go on TRT, they're only going to check and address your testosterone level, okay? You know, I, I talk to people all the time who they get their testosterone level checked. They're, in a, they're at a terrible level. They get brought up. Again, most clinics don't even bring you up where they should. If you're going to do, do testosterone replacement, you might as well be brought back to 18. Not 30, not 40. You might as well go back to 18. Healthy 18-year-old, good genetics, eating his steak and eggs, and sleeping, he should be hitting 1,200, okay, period. All right, I look at blood work all the time. This is what you should be hitting. Okay, so we should, it doesn't make sense to replace anything less than that. Having said that, if you're doing testosterone replacement already, you might as well make sure your HGH level is peaked up. We wanna go not crazy high, but we wanna be at a good level where we get all the health benefits and also performance benefits. When I'm talking about performance, I don't mean just athleticism and other performance gain, right? I'm talking about what? I'm talking about fat loss, cellular regeneration. We're talking about recovery from workouts, joints, tendons, ligaments. Your hair grows faster. You get rid of wrinkles. I mean, you sleep better. If you're going to replace testosterone, also do your HGH. So what you want to do is either A, find a clinic that will actually do HGH replacement. Only about 5 to 10% of clinics do. My clinic does, obviously. Use my code if you want to save some cash. Um, besides that, um, what you want to do is, let's say your clinic, uh, and I just had this with uh, a client or somebody I'm training not too long ago, where you know his clinic had him doing TRT, uh, but... And then he brought up, hey, uh, do you guys do HGH replacement too? Is there anything I can take? And yeah, they offered some Orlin. They, they have some Orlin there. So I told him, well, get your get your HGH level checked. The only way to effect, effectively, efficiently measure HGH level is by doing an IGF-1 test. So you get your IGF-1 tested. And here's the thing. You want to be at about 300 IGF-1 if you want to, you know, be in anywhere around that, you know, 18 20 21 range okay uh, if you want to be peaked up for a male you want to be and i'll say this i'll say this for people who haven't watched all my videos if you want to be at your best as a male 
you want your total testosterone to be between 1,000 and 1,500. And if you wanna be at your best as a male in terms of HGH, you want your IGF-1 level between 300 and 400, okay? I, I, I cannot tell people this enough because they don't know. And guys, I've trained, I've tracked my training with low, medium, and high testosterone levels and low, medium, and high HGH levels. If you wanna live your best life as a male, okay and if you want to feel your best live your best be your best you want your levels there if you can get them there naturally you know if you hire me and i fix your training your diet you know we change your life around and we we're able to get there great but if you need replacement you need replacement you might as well do it so um guys that's pretty much it okay don't just fix your testosterone fix your hgh levels too there's a ton of benefits that come from that and actually makes your testosterone work better and work stronger and you might be on testosterone replacement and at a good level and you wonder why oh my shoulder's still hurting me my knee's not hurting me oh i still have these nagging injuries well guess what i do too if i don't replace i'm only 28 and I do HGH replacement back to my 18 year old levels. Why? Because I feel way better. I recover from workouts way quicker. I stay leaner. I don't get fat as easy. And probably the biggest notice is just by pushing heavy weights all the time in the gym, I notice that wear and tear in my joints. Maybe, you know, I don't have any injuries, but I can feel, oh, my, I feel a little, feeling old. <laughs> I'm feeling old and kind of run down. But when I go back to 18 year old levels, you know, 300, guess what? I feel great in the gym, okay? I don't have any aches or pains. So, guys, sit Spartan, stay safe, stay healthy. That's pretty much it. We're out of here.